In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. You may have seen this effect in videos by Peter McKinnon and also in this recent video by Chris Howe. Now there are already videos on YouTube that show this technique, but what I'm going to show you today is the most effective way and quickest way once you learn how to do it in Resolve. Let's take a look. Here we are on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, and I have four clips on the timeline. I have one of them selected, and you can see I have all the options pulled up on the inspector. If it's not there, you can just click inspector in the top right. One of the options that you have is to come into cropping, and you can manually come in here and you can crop the top and the bottom so that it appears to be the black bars, but you would have to make some calculations. And a lot of the videos that I've seen is doing that, determining what the value should be. Uh, we can do a simple animation here. I could select the keyframes as you saw, move the timeline over, and then it will put new keyframes in those places. So if we come back to the beginning of the timeline and play through it, it pretty much does what we want it to do and it produces that effect. And the problem that you're going to run into is that this is only based on the clip. So if we were to go to the next clip on the timeline, that same cropping isn't there. Technically, you could just go in there and you could cut and paste. I'm going to show you a quicker way, again, once you know what you're doing. If we come up to the top and choose Timeline, near the bottom it says Output Blinking, and then we can choose our ratio there. So in this case, I'll choose 2.35. And you'll notice that it automatically does it for us. And if we scroll through the timeline, all the clips have it because it was applied to the timeline. Now, as far as those bars coming in gradually, we're going to head over to the Color tab. Now the first thing you want to do is pull up the sizing tools, which I have in the middle of my screen here. And then once you have that window, come to the drop down list and we're going to change it from input sizing to output sizing. And if we look at the blanking options on the right hand side, you'll see that it's already done the work for us. The top is slid over a little bit, the bottom obviously is slid over a little bit. In fact, if we come up to timeline and we choose a different ratio, you'll see in the preview window, it looks entirely different, of course, and it's adjusted our options on the output blanking. Well, now we'll change it back to the 2.35. And you'll also notice on the right-hand side in the node viewer, there's nothing there. And the reason that looks like that is because it's showing it for the entire timeline. You'll see if I come up to the timeline, come back to node, there's our serial node, but we'll change it back to timeline because that gives us the options for the blanking down at the bottom. The other thing that we want to do is come over if you have the scopes pulled up, click on the one for keyframes, and the keyframes is where we're going to do most of our work. Our next step is to come into the keyframe section, and on the left-hand side, this is everything that we're using in this particular scene. So you can see here where it says sizing, and over here we have the sizing section. If I drill down, we have the color corrector and the out format, the out format being the output sizing. So what I'll do is click on this keyframe here, and that's basically automatic keyframes. So any adjustment that I make, it will put a keyframe down for us. So in this case, let me uh, box select this one on my mouse, change this to dynamic keyframe. And what we're doing there is we're saying that's gradually going to change. So in other words, it's not going to stay the way that it is, and then when it hits that keyframe, it automatically changes. In this case, it will gradually change which you see when the black bars slowly come in and slowly disappear. If we come over to the blanking section, I have my timeline indicator moved over, so we'll leave that there. And I'll move the top up, and we'll move the bottom over. So we have the zeros there, we have the 1920 by 1080, and you'll notice, as I mentioned, the keyframes were already put down for us. So if we come back here, right at the beginning, we now have that animation. Of course, it's backwards in this case, so there's one of two things that you can do. You can either come in here, box select, move this over, and then move those back like that. And then if we come in here, it will slowly come in. The other thing that you can do, and let me show you how we take care of this. I have the timeline indicator back at the beginning over those keyframes. Let's go to the output blanking change it to the 2.35, come over here, let's box select these, move it out, and you'll see that it generates new ones over here. Now what we do have to do is select these, right click, change to dynamic keyframes, and now you'll see that it comes in. 
I do want to box select these and right click change to static keyframes. That way if we make any more keyframes, it's not going to change. For what it's worth, that's not an important point because as long as you don't make any adjustments, it shouldn't change anyway. But I like to do that to get in the habit. So let's go ahead and come to the end. Let's scroll to the end of our timeline here. Here's our last clip. And then I'm going to right click, add dynamic keyframe because we want to do the same exact thing. We want to gradually move those black bars from where they are to outside of the window. So I'll slide this over, go ahead and do what we did before. Let's move the top out of the way, the bottom out of the way. And if we come back here and play through, you can see them disappear. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love for you to be part of the community. All my links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.